Do you need to improve your listening? Are you planning on taking an international exam such as the IELTS or the TOEFL? If so, then this video is for you and this listening video series is also for you. So make sure and sign up for my channel and click the notification button. I'm going to narrate a story about the history of the bicycle. You will have to identify the missing words in each paragraph. Most are in the intermediate range, but there are also a few advanced terms. There are three paragraphs in this story. I will repeat each paragraph twice. I will then ask you at the conclusion of the story, three comprehension questions about the text. Are you ready? Let's begin. As a pedal driven, mostly two wheeled vehicle, a bicycle is the most efficient human powered means of transportation in biological and mechanical terms. Its usage goes beyond mere recreation to transportation services within the economy, including postal, policing, and military. Cycling provides popular forms of recreation and sports events, including bicycle commuting, touring, mountain biking, and professional competitions. Okay, now I'm gonna repeat the paragraph again. As a pedal-driven, mostly two-wheeled vehicle, a bicycle is the most efficient human-powered means of transportation in biological and mechanical terms. Its usage goes beyond mere recreation to transportation services within the economy, including postal, policing, and military. Cycling provides popular forms of recreation and sports events, including bicycle commuting, touring, mountain biking, and professional competitions. As a pedal-driven, mostly two-wheeled vehicle, a bicycle is the most efficient human-powered means of transportation in biological and mechanical terms. Its usage goes beyond mere recreation to transportation services within the economy, including postal, policing, and military. Cycling provides popular forms of recreation and sports events, including bicycle commuting, touring, mountain biking, and professional competitions. Let's look at the second paragraph. In the early 19th century, the first two-wheeled bicycle models, namely the dandy horse, were uncomfortable to ride due to their high seat and poor weight distribution. The 1885 Rover, designed by Starley in England, is often regarded as the first recognizably modern bicycle. Further advancements led to the bicycle craze in the 1890s. This brought about bicycle clubs and even prompted women's emancipation in Western nations with the increased mobility and personal freedom. Now let's listen to it again. In the early 19th century, the first two-wheeled bicycle models, namely the dandy horse, were uncomfortable to ride due to their high seat and poor weight distribution. The 1885 Rover, designed by Starley in England, is often regarded as the first recognizably modern bicycle. Further advancements led to the bicycle craze in the 1890s. This brought about bicycle clubs and even prompted women's emancipation in Western nations with the increased mobility and personal freedom. In the early 19th century, the first two-wheeled bicycle models, namely the dandy horse, were uncomfortable to ride due to their high seat and poor weight distribution. The 1885 Rover, designed by Starley in England, is often regarded as the first recognizably modern bicycle. Further advancements led to the bicycle craze in the 1890s. This brought about bicycle clubs and even prompted women's emancipation in Western nations with the increased mobility and personal freedom.
All right, now let's move to the third and final paragraph. Over the next decades, the bicycle diversely impacted social, economic, and scientific discourses. First, it reduced the reliance on horses and allowed workers to commute from distant suburbs. Second, bicycle manufacturing enabled mechanics to experiment with early automobiles and planes. Third, access to this kind of transportation has proved its ability to reduce poverty. To resist the drawbacks of climate change, several European cities have implemented bicycle sharing programs that have helped reduce traffic jams and pollution. Now let's listen to it a final time. Over the next decades, the bicycle diversely impacted social, economic, and scientific discourses. First, it reduced the reliance on horses and allowed workers to commute from distant suburbs. Second, bicycle manufacturing enabled mechanics to experiment with early automobiles and planes. Third, access to this kind of transportation has proved its ability to reduce poverty. To resist the drawbacks of climate change, several European cities have implemented bicycle sharing programs that have helped reduce traffic jams and pollution. Over the next decades, the bicycle diversely impacted social, economic, and scientific discourses. First, it reduced the reliance on horses and allowed workers to commute from distant suburbs. Second, bicycle manufacturing enabled mechanics to experiment with early automobiles and planes. Third, access to this kind of transportation has proved its ability to reduce poverty. To resist the drawbacks of climate change, several European cities have implemented bicycle sharing programs that have helped reduce traffic jams and pollution. Now, I'd like you to try to answer three listening comprehension questions. Number one, bicycling was only used for sports, recreation, and physical fitness. True or false? Number two, true or false? The popularity of bicycles was mainly because of the use by men. And number three, the bicycle has had a positive effect on the poverty of certain areas. True or false? Now, if you need more time to answer these questions, pause the video and you can study them. Here are the answers. Number one, the answer is false. In paragraph one, it mentions the benefits to the economy as well. Number two, the answer is also false. In paragraph two, near the end of the paragraph, it reads, in the 1890s, this brought about bicycle clubs and even prompted women's emancipation in Western nations. Number three is true. In paragraph three, it reads, access to this kind of transportation has proved its ability to reduce poverty. If you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, Click the notification and subscribe now so that you can be apprised of my next video in this listening series. Thanks for watching.